Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to have a look at a few obscure items which you may or may not use but you are likely to sort of encounter on your journey with AutoCAD. The first one is called Wipeout and it's used to basically hide a bit of the drawing. If I select it from this menu here and you just plot out your area that you wish to mask right click enter and it hides everything underneath it if I move the mouse you can still see the entities below it becoming highlighted but they're hidden below it now I don't use wipeouts at all and it's unlikely a beginner in AutoCAD who's just updating tree plans will use them either but it's very likely you're going to come across them. You're going to be given drawings, especially from architects who love using these things. And if you're not used to them and the frame is hidden and you're using an old AutoCAD, they can be a real problem. So we're just going to have a quick look at it and have a look at the problems. So the wipeout, it's consists of a frame and the actual mask and it's called wipeout as an entity now if you go to draw one but don't actually draw it just select it you've got your option down here frames you click frames and you have some options on off or display but don't plot and that's applying to the frame if I switch the frame off then it's just showing the mask and you can select it this is with AutoCAD 2022 this also applies to 2021 but if you go to an older AutoCAD such as this one which is 2020 and I repeat the operation so I'll just plot a wipe out here Again, it's no problem. You've got the frame and the mask and I can select it. But what happens is you'll get supplied a drawing and the wipeouts usually have their frames switched off. And with these older AutoCADs from 2020 or earlier, you can't select the wipeout. You can see it's there. And if I select everything and look in my list, it's not even in the list. And for a beginner, this can be a bit of a problem. Because they can see something's going on here. You can see all the entities behind it showing. But you can't select it. And you can't even identify what, what this thing is. Because if you select it, it's just not on the list. While looking at 2022 you can even though the frames are switched off you can still select it and see it in the list so if you're using an older AutoCAD up to 2021 so 2020 or earlier um, you will need to switch the wipeout frames on Hang on, I'm doing this in the wrong one. Let's go to 2020. You need to switch the frames on before you can select them. And now you can play around with them. And that's really all I'm going to say about it. Um, the other option here is display but do not plot means and it applies to the frame the edge the boundary the border and it means it will show it but when you come to actually create a pdf or print it to paper the, the line will disappear or just um, show the mask so you've got these three options but just as a sort of example of what can happen i'll just load in drawing i put a wipeout on so say you've got a drawing from a architect and they like to 
put all their furniture inside the houses, the proposed buildings. And quite often they'll stick a wipeout over it to obscure them. And you can see things appearing. So this is where the sort of beginner can get a bit confused. You can say, well, there's something there. Maybe it's this polyline. I'll delete that. But that hasn't solved anything. And you select it and it's not on the list so you need to go and switch these um, these frames on and once you do the wipeout is selectable and you can delete it if you want to now it's not normally a problem if they've wiped out the internals of a house we don't really want to see what's inside anyway for our tree work but sometimes um, Architects like to hide bits of the drawing. So if I just draw a wipeout around here, sometimes they like to focus on a particular area and will actually wipe the rest of the drawing out, like so. And if the frames are switched off and you're using an earlier AutoCAD up to 220, that can be really, really annoying and, and confusing for the beginner because you can see there's stuff there and you may need to do a tree survey and use these trees but you can't see them and even if you select everything the wipeout isn't on the list and you won't know what's going on so that's how you deal with it you need to switch the frames on and then you could delete this um, this wipeout and get on with your get on with your survey just hit delete and everything's hunky dory and the next thing we're going to look at is the point I'll just flip over to the 2022 drawing for this I'll get rid of this wipeout and the point is selected here and you basically click a position and keep clicking and you're putting all these points onto the drawing and when you've had enough just hit the escape button and a point is just a, a vertice in space it's just a 3d vertice or 2d if you're not using the z values and the actual crosshair there is just a symbol associated with it you can't actually lock onto the ends of that or anything they're not lines it's, it's a an inbuilt symbol and you'll often find these on topos to represent the point of a level now the problem with points is that sometimes by default they're set to a little dot and you can't hardly see them on the utilities here point style normally they'll be set to a dot and they can be rather hard to see it's just that little dot there there's the point and sometimes very rarely they'll be set to nothing so you can't see anything at all and you may need to sort of set them so you can see them for your drawing for when you print your drawing out and you can choose how you wish to view them in this little box here so if I click that one they come up as rather cool little things there now you can adjust the size of these um, from the the symbol window but you can also just type p type and get the same window up and there's two ways of representing their size absolute or relative absolute is an actual real value so if you your drawing is in meters and i set the value to one then the point is a meter i think it's from tip to tip of the lines and it'll stay that size wherever you zoom but if you use the relative, which is relative to screen size in a percent, 
say I put 5%, then they stay that size no matter whatever you zoom the drawing in. So if I zoom out, yes, they've got smaller, but you have to type REA to regenerate and you see they're the same size. And this is a problem with um, using the relative. You have to keep regenerating the screen. If I zoom out further, I have to type REA and you can see they're not, they're not really very much use at this sort of size. If you zoom right in, REA again, but you've got to do that every time you, you sort of change the zoom with your middle mouse. And for that reason, if you find this sort of happening on your drawing, just, just set the, um, set it to absolute and give it a reasonable value, say half a meter. And they sort of behave and it's much easier to view. And that's all I wanted to mention. You're not going to use them. Uh, there's no real point using points. So it's just to be aware of if you've got lots of little dots on the screen next to the numbers and you want to give them something a bit meatier to look at, then just use the point style and set it to something more appropriate. The last thing we're going to quickly look at is the OLE which is object linking and embedding and it basically allows you to sort of paste in an image or an excel sheet or a word document into your drawing. If I just sort of do an example quickly. Um, this is just a drawing of a tree box. But if I use the Windows screen snip down here in the bottom right corner, I'll select screen snip and draw a box around that. That's now saved in the clipboard buffer. So if I now right click paste it's put my image into the drawing and it's called an OLE and you can sort of change its size etc now the older AutoCADs were very buggy and some images would crash the program so I would really strongly suggest before you add images especially Excel or Word documents, um, just save your work first. Don't, don't <laughs> learn the hard way. I'll give you a demonstration of that in a sec. This is an Excel sheet. Say I want to incorporate some of this. I'm just going to copy that. And paste. There she is. I'll just make it a bit bigger. And everything's great. And this is using 2022. That, that's the simplest method. It's just copy and paste. But you can actually link documents into the drawing so that when they're changed and saved, say in Excel, they'll automatically update in your drawing. I don't use it personally. It's more trouble than it's worth. But if you use the insert tab OLE object and you'd create from file and you'd select your file in here and click link. I'm not going to do it. Um, and then click OK. Then when you save your Excel, the, the, this data will update automatically. Now, one of the problems with... Um, the OLE on older AutoCADs is they can crash your program. If I go back to the 2020 drawing and I'll go back to that tree box because I don't think this will be a problem. Images are normally okay 
although I have had some that have crashed it. If I go right click board paste and then I can select it, that's fine. Now if I take the Excel again and paste that, seems okay. I'll zoom in but I'm not going to touch it. And this is with 2020 and I experienced this a lot with earlier versions right back 2008, 2018 version. Um, as soon as I click that OLE the program's going to crash. And which is why I say save your work. So I'll just do it to show you. I'm just about to click now. And we've crashed. So 2020 is gone now. And that's the danger. And it seems to be the older AutoCADs. It's um, looking online. A lot of people have this problem. And they say the reason may be because of a conflict between a 32-bit program, maybe Excel, and a 64-bit program. I've, I have Excel in 64-bit and 2020 is running in 64-bit, so I don't quite understand that, but there may be conflicts and maybe there's a way to fix it, but I haven't got time to sort all that out, so I tend to steer clear of using these things in older AutoCADs. So just be careful with that. Uh, if you're using an old AutoCAD, save your work before you try anything um, like that. And that's it really, it's just, just a quick video on a few obscure items and a few dangers. So see you on the next one. Bye bye.